What is going on people of YouTube? It's your boy M. Lee on the film. It's coming at you guys with yet another film vlog. Talking to you guys about some of the film purchases I plan on making this year. Some purchases may not be able to happen because my car, you know what happens with that story. You know what I'm saying? Start acting up out of nowhere, especially when you got plans with your money. Your car be like, uh, no bruh, pass some of that this way. You know what I'm saying? Some gear I was already had before, but it's kind of lollygagging when they wanted to hold on to the money. But, you know, hey. First up, the Canon EF 1635 millimeter f4l is usm lens um this was going to replace the lens i'm using right now as y'all as you guys can see i don't i don't keep my lenses for that long i'm always swapping and switching and you know finding that balance of what i want and switching out you know just using what i need need different stuff for i can sell this lens i'm using right now for 500 even though i bought it for 450 at the time you know make 50 bucks put 500 with that 500 have me a thou pick this bad boy up or i can buy a used on amazon for 7.99 800 bucks which would be a good you know option because i brought a couple of used lenses had no issues whatsoever period with no used lenses i've ever purchased so thank god for that next up which is going to be a man this was supposed to be for sure because the way i'm filming my comic con videos this year but this is a dj dji ronin m Three axis gimbal stabilizer. Now, I've been watching plenty of videos. I've seen it work perfectly fine for the uh, Canon C100 Mark II. Don't recommend using it, using the camera any heavier than this bad boy. And, you know, my plan for Comic Con was to, you know, film it completely different compared to my last year's. You know, just mostly do uh, constant movement shots. You know, just, you know, speed, speed it up a little bit, then slow it down when I get to somebody, circle around them, then speed it up, boom, go through the crowd, then boom, slow motion. Come on, bruh. But you know, my car issues is making it hard to get this bad boy, so I don't know what's going to happen with that, you know, and I don't do no renting. I got to own my equipment. I don't, I don't rent from the non. I feel like I film better if I own it. Next item I put the bin had this bad boy is the Dat Das Tascam DR40 four track portable digital recorder. As of late, it's been at 180 bucks for the last past three, four months, you know, so. I don't know about copping that bad boy for that much, especially when I've been seeing it for 140 bucks for a long time. Um, mainly I was gonna be using this for, you know, doing voiceovers, doing, you know, off camera, you know, if I don't wanna have my camera on. I kinda wanna have me like a little booth and like a little microphone. So with that said, the next up is Lynx Pro VRI 30 portable and foldable sound absorbent vocal recording booth. And I was gonna couple that with the Audio Technica AT2035 large diaphragm studio condenser microphone but i'm kind of iffy because it's like if it's not broke don't fix it that's like around 250 300 you're spending for no reason uh not even 300 but 200 something that you're spending for no reason when you can just keep what you got you know keep your audio setup that you got is working fine you ain't nobody complaining about the audio inside the unboxing so you know next up which i'm at for you know not getting this last year this has been a guaranteed for sure purchase like but I was, you know, trying to hold on to the money, like, ah, you know how like you've been waiting, saving up, uh, you finally got the amount of money that you need for a certain piece of gear or something that you want, and then you finally about to, and then when you about to buy it, it's like, nah. <laughs> so that's kind of what happened with this bad boy. But that's the Fovatech Studio Pro bi-color 600 LED panel, you know what I'm saying, with barn doors and carrying cases. And also these bad boys support V-mount batteries, which I also have inside my shopping cart, but wasn't gonna plan on, wasn't planning on buying them until like probably like next year or later on this year. I ain't trying to buy these, let me see how much that costs. But these bad boys can't wait to replace these lights, but you know, I was thinking the same thing, like I said a little moment ago, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Hey, they kinda broke, but they still working. And what's cool about these I can't wait to use is now, you know, with my nighttime music videos, you know, I was using only one little, you know, camera led light thing which i still i'm using that right here my on my uh on side of me you know led light you know um i've been using that for all my nighttime videos so imagine two 600 led panels with v-mount batteries in back and you know set up a nice little scene nighttime scene with those two bad boys you know if i was already doing a good job with the little one that's why i love the grind because it's like you appreciate all the equipment that you get instead of just jumping right up to the top you got a shitload of money next up is the nikon coolpix p900 digital camera with 83x optical zoom now this bad boy right here one of my co-workers which is the manager where i work at that walmart life you know what i'm saying um shout out to you if you're watching 
yeah, he got this camera. He's been showing me a lot of pictures almost every day. You know, just all kind of creative shots he got with the zoom and stuff. That's been a new craze with these cameras, zoom cameras. And I didn't even know Canon made one similar to this camera. And they've been had these cameras out for a long time. But now people just started hopping on to them. You know, this just the Nikon one is the one that everybody been going crazy and like, you know. But then he pointed me in a direction because he know I like Canon. That Canon went for around 300 or something dollars. Like, come on, bruh. And then you got the little swivel screen and everything. Use that for my vlogs. Cause I haven't had a vlog camera in a minute. Can't use your main camera for every video. You know, you gotta have a big camera for like the little stuff, the vlogs, the little other stuff we do. And I wanna get some crazy creative shots with that far zoom and stuff like that. Like, you know, I got, man, the surfers and stuff, zoom in up on them, put that little slow motion. Man, come on. The only thing that sucks is that these are like, these are cheap cameras, so you know it's not gonna be the, the type of sensor like my C100, and you know it's not gonna be like like you know the 6D or 5D is gonna be you know. But it's good for what you. I mean, the main thing is that far zoom, be able to zoom in, zoom in on airplanes, zoom in super man. I can't wait. I'll make a whole video, like a whole like movie short video dedicated just to that to that. All right, so next up is something I actually don't have on my list because I know which one I wanted to get. Didn't know if I wanted to get another Canon 6D or if I want to get a Canon 7D, which I should go a smarter, if I was smart, I get a 7D, since now I got a C100 for video. The reason why I got a 6D in the first place was for video, you know, to replace my T3i and do videos and do some photos, but everybody know the 6D ain't good for like, if you're gonna be doing movement, if you're gonna be doing photos of sports and of like different weddings and stuff and movements you want to have like something like the 7d that got a lot of different cross type autofocus points on the screen which i never had the pleasure to have a camera that got that many you know so when i be seeing people with those all those damn things i'm like damn that that gotta be amazing ass focusing camera because you know i'll be go getting happy over just having three or four cross type autofocus points on my screen so just having 32 and 20 and 16 that's crazy to piggyback off what i said before i feel good starting off with something lower like the 6d with only like one cross type autofocus point now i got switch up to like a 7d they got like 16 or 20 or something like that it's like i even became a master of capturing mo movement with with something that that's not even meant for that so when i got something that is meant for it my work is a breeze. I'm like, tsh, 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 tsh. you know what I'm saying? Next up, which is something I may not end up being able to get, which is the Atomos Ninja. One of these Atomos Ninja recorders, the one with the screen. I don't know which one. This one has shot up to like almost a thousand dollars for no damn reason. I don't know why. I could have sworn it was like 500 for the longest. But Atomos Ninja 2, 10 bit uh, recorder. Basically, what these do allow you to do is take the HDMI signal because most cameras. You know, especially prosumer or professional cameras got HDMI ports, which you can could connect to an external monitor, or you can connect it to an external recorder, which records that signal raw and takes that raw signal and sends it onto a you know it sends it gives you a raw signal. So it's like nothing's compressed, everything's there, all the detail. It's a huge file, but it's professional. And if you got the 444 or 422 broadcast safe if you're doing professional tv work you can even use that to record if your camera don't automatically do that itself you know so and of course for the people that's watching i'm not going to explain every single detail i i imagine some of you guys have a knowledge of filming you know for the people and not you know you guys know i do elaborate on some little things you know if you got a question just ask you know i know it'd be some new people that's watching and I'm still learning my damn self. I don't know every damn thing, boy. Next up is the camera sling bag. I don't know which one I'm gonna get. I don't, know which, don't even know what I'm popping up on screen because I've been looking at a lot of different ones. Logitech got one. You know, I like I like their little cases. They do a very good job. So I, I would trust them with a camera bag. Now, most of the sling bags I've been seeing been, you know, having a DSLR compartment and stuff. Like, I don't need all that. All I need is something that got the little lens compartment, just slide right in, boom. Most of the ones I've been seeing been a little bit too big. I wanted to be no backpack or nothing. I wanted to be like kind of like a smaller form factor and something I can just bring around. They just got that only has lens compartments. I don't need no DSLR compartment. DSLR gonna be around my neck. Don't need that inside there. You know, I just need something to bring around, take my lenses off, or if I'm using my C100, bring around, take that lens off, put that lens on, hold that boom, put that in there, bam. You know. All right, people, so I think that is it. That concludes my film purchases 
thing I'm planning on getting for this year, 2018. It's gonna be real cool this year. Was planning on moving, still might happen. Not sure, gotta see what's going on. Um, more than likely it'd be just be good to stay one more year here in San Diego. And it's a lot going on too this year, uh, new changes, uh, you know, good changes. Got a girlfriend now and that's one. Got more responsibilities, got, can't talk. Got more responsibilities with that girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, you know, I'm ready for that. Well, I've been doing that, but just haven't been letting nobody know nothing. But I've just been taking care of business, man. Y'all gonna be seeing more of me though, even though I've been busy, just got, literally just got off. Well, I didn't literally just get off work right now, but I just got off work directly after that, hung out with my, you know, my baby, you know, and then. <laughs> so with that being said, it's been your boy M. Lee on the films. Thank you guys that's been, that's been watching and leaving thumbs up, leaving comments and feedback. Really appreciate that, especially for y'all that know that this stuff. I'm real busy, it's a lot of hard work. Got two YouTube channels, got a gaming channel to film three videos for. You know, I got these, got, got, got my gaming vlogs coming back. Um, got the film vlogs coming more often. And we're gonna make it do what you do in 2018. Got a lot of big plans, a lot of big things, following big dreams and, you know, so it's been your boy, M. Lee, on the films, and I'm out. Peace. Bitch. Ah, oh, shit. No, oh, I'm, I'm gonna change that outro. Change that. Switch that shit around. Let me see. But yeah, man, y'all gonna be seeing more of me. Um, even though I do got more responsibility now. Been just been working my ass off, making this dinero, trying to get more equipment, trying to get more equipment marrow. <laughs> that was stupid, that was lame.